Well, you know, speaking of interesting products, Dirk, we have one here for Tech Corner. That's right. This week, uh, it's for, from Center Products. That's right. This is a um, looks like a simple piece of uh, just plastic here. Uh, a lot of you in a manufacturing environment, very often you need to know maybe the amount of pressure being exerted between, let's say, two plates. Um, might be you're clamping something together, or maybe you're mounting a heat sink to, uh, to a, 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 a semiconductor or a metal surface. And you need to know, is that pressure even, and how much pressure is it? Well, there's not too many easy ways to go about learning that. Well, Fuji Prescale, uh, I'm sorry, Fuji Products has made this product called the Fuji Prescale Pressure Indicating Film. As you can see, it's just a, a plastic film here. And this is, uh, this is distributed uh, in the United States by uh, Sensor Products. Mm -hmm. And all I have to do is cut a piece of this film right here. So it's just like a piece of plastic. And it, cover, it comes in several pressure indicating ranges. This happens to be a low range. And I'm going to set this down here, and I'm going to use a little coffee cup here to be my, my pressure. This is a zero defects cup from our late friend uh, David Crosby. David Crosby, yeah. Zero defects and a nice guy. Yes. Um, and I'm simply going to apply some pressure and roll this across the film, just like that. And when I do that, you see where the pressure has, uh, where the, the uh, logo and so forth on the cup has made contact with the film, it has left a red mark. The degree of redness, or pinkness in this case, of that mark is an indication of how much pressure there is. Now, I kind of applied too much pressure, kind of went beyond the range of this film, but if we look over here, uh, all I have to do is I can compare the amount of redness with this scale, kind of like uh, uh, your pool testing, uh, your chlorine testing kit maybe at home. Uh, I'm right at the max, so I'm, I'm showing the maximum amount of, of pressure here, the lighter pink, and you would just kind of go through and you can compare the, the red spots on your plate, on your film, to the matching red spots here on this template, and then there's a little, uh, um, a little calibration guide to kind of help you determine what pressure each of these means, and you can get an idea of how much pressure you've got spread across that plate. Now, that's good for a kind of a rough measurement. If you really want a, uh, a more exacting measurement, um, Fuji and Sensor Products also sells a, um, a scanner. You would simply run this sheet through the scanner, and rather than getting, you know, uh, light pink to dark pink, you would get this very obvious, you know, everything from a, a, a green to a red that more accurately uh, shows up the difference in pressures. Uh, and actually, I believe it, yeah, it gives you a table here, so you can see on this table, um, on the bar over here, it shows, in, in this, for this particular film, 400 PSI down to 100 PSI, and you would be able to look at your scan and kind of see where the, uh, where the hot spots were pressure-wise, uh, or actually, probably more important, the low spots pressure-wise were on your, on your film.